In today's video, I'm going to be showing you five new features. Oh, hang on, it's, it's not that video. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining why I'm leaving Home Assistant. Check it out. Just to quickly interrupt this video, the security disclosure that's shown in the thumbnail for this video is in fact an actual security disclosure that was revealed by Home Assistant a few weeks ago. And to make sure you're not susceptible to the vulnerability, make sure you are running the latest version of Home Assistant. And if you are after a bit more information or wanna know more, there's an article about this actual disclosure on the Home Assistant blog, and there'll be a link to that in the description below. And back to your video. What's going on guys? I hope you're all doing well. I've been an avid Home Assistant user, the camera's not there, the camera's here. I've been an avid Home Assistant user now for years, like years, like lots of years, like many, many, many years. Oh, I should, hang on. Oh, oh, nope, too far. Is that better? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just, there we go. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, it's okay, that's better. I'll, I'll probably just put this remote here so that I don't accidentally um oh I'll just I'll just put that remote down as I was saying I'm an avid home assistant user or rather I was an avid home assistant user I literally had home assistant everywhere you could think of on my phone on my computer on my watch and even on my toothbrush and after using a home assistant for so long now there's just lots of issues that I keep running into lots of things that are wrong with it and just Lots of things that just need to be fixed, and I mean fixed, like really, really fixed. Does that make it sound more like it needs doing if you say really, really? <laughs> Probably. But anyway, there's three main issues that I've got with Home Assistant. There's three things that I really do not like, and it's the main reasons really why I'm switching from it as a platform. The first issue, and it's probably one of the most suckiest of all of the issues, is the fact that the majority of my setup is all local, and being local just sucks. Like, how am I supposed to share my data with China and have all of my things work externally if it's all local? How am I supposed to do those things? How can I share my camera feeds wherever I want and have people watch me without it being local? Like, local just... Local just sucks. My second issue with Home Assistant, and this one is another like big one, it's a, it's a big issue, is the fact that the developers just keep making Home Assistant easier to use. Like, they're the spoiling it for me. I, I, I like spending three or four hours having to try and configure an integration or write some YAML that I've copied from some random guy on the internet. Like, how am I gonna do those things if they just make it easy? They're, they're just ruining it for me. Be honest. Be honest. Be honest. Be honest. It's getting confusing here. And staying on topic with the whole developer changes, they just keep making it look nicer too. Like in the last update, they added a whole bunch of cards that made Home Assistant look nicer and made it feel different and new and fresh. And I don't want that. I, I like the old stuff. In this next update that's coming out next week, they've done the same thing. They've. How innovative they've. <laughs> They've added more cards to make it look nicer. I mean, what's up with that, man? And if local control and making it easier to use aren't bad enough, the real reason, the thing that's actually pushed me over the edge, the thing that's actually making me leave Home Assistant as a platform overall is this. Like, 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 do not lie. Like, 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 I like spending three or four hours. Like, 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 do not lie. Like, like, as I was saying, write some YAML, 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 some random guy on the internet. Like, 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 do not lie. Like, 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 I like the old stuff. If it's software, he knows it. If it's techie, he'll show it. If it's something fancy or something janky. It's Mark One Tech, you can automate it and try not to break it. It's Mark One Tech. I've been an avid home assistant user. The camera's not there, the camera's here. I've been an avid home assistant user now for years, like years, like lots of years, like many, many, 
many years. Oh, like, 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 do not lie. Like, 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 I like spending three or four hours. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just, there we go. Oh. I told you it's not ready yet. Honey, just show it to them. <laughs> Son, that's wonderful. And there we are, guys. Happy April Fools. And if you April Fools after April Fools, like 12 o'clock, midday, whenever whenever that is, wherever you are, then I guess you're the fool. Thank you to these awesome dudes who are my Patreons. These guys support me all the time, and they're just awesome dudes. If you're interested in helping these guys, helping me out, if you're interested in helping me out, then you'll find a link to my Patreon in the description below. Come and join in on Patreon. If you're interested in getting some extra support or speaking to me as a, an actual person, then uh, you can do so at Patreon. Thank you for watching, and I will have some normal content out in the next couple of days, weeks, sometime soon. Cheers. You, you can just fix this in the edit. Oh, there we go.